What's up all you cool cats and kittens? How we doing today? Zisco here. I hope all of y'all are having a phenomenal time uh, with your families or with your friends. Uh, y'all are staying safe. And um, yeah, so if y'all have been keeping up with Google Classroom, uh, you know, obviously we have <clears throat> hip hop, uh, like evolution of hip hop PowerPoints. And uh, I did a slideshow on G Erbo, a little bit about him. Uh, so definitely check those out if you haven't. Uh, what I'm going to do today is just uh, a little bit of more of an interactive engagement type of activity um, because I'm sure, you know, doing assignments and just watching PowerPoints can be, you know, not, not necessarily the funnest. So, so yeah, uh, like we do in the Transition Academy, you know, we'll, we'll typically, you know, make a song from scratch or maybe we'll do some sound design, things like that. So that's what I wanted to do today is just kind of, you know, do something a little bit different and hopefully something that y'all would enjoy, um, which is I'm just going to go over how to make a little hip hop beat. So the, the sounds that I'll be using is from the 808, 808 drum kit uh, or the drum machine. I believe it came out in like 83, 1983 or 1987, somewhere around there. Do the history, do, <laughs> do a Google search. Uh, either way. Uh, the 808 drum machine came out, and this is really what influenced a lot of hip-hop music that you hear in the 90s, uh, the late 80s, and yeah, so we'll go through, we'll go through um, all these sounds, so a kick, and basically, I'll turn this up a little bit so we can hear it. And so, you know, when we think of like an actual drum kit, right? The kick is uh, what you do by, with the foot, right? Uh, rim shot, snare, clap, clave, uh, some toms, low, mid, high, uh, closed hi-hat, open hi-hat, maraca. We have some congos, low, mid, high, cymbal, and a cowbell. And I have a delay on that cowbell right here, so that's why we're hearing it delayed. So up here, this is the BPM, right? Uh, beats per minute. And so typically with hip hop, it's a little bit slower, right? And so, you know, it was at 125. We'll listen to that real quick. Um, when we're making um, a hip hop beat, or almost really any kind of drum beat, the snare, goes on the two and the four, like that. And so, again, we're at 125 BPM. Let's slow it down. It's at a kick. And hopefully right now, you know, you're able to kind of like, you know, you can kind of feel where, where maybe the kick should go, right? And that's that's the beauty of, of making music, right? We, we, get, we get it going with just a little bit of stuff and then our, our uh, natural instincts kind of come out and we kind of know where we want to hear that kick to land. Um, but real quick, I'm just gonna put it right here. And I just kind of wanna go over a little bit about um, these patterns, right? So at the bottom right, you see down here, these are 16th notes um, as opposed to eighth notes or quarter notes, or half or a whole bar. So this is a whole bar, right? And so if it was half, this is one half, this is the other half. Quarter, it's like that, right? And then eighth notes, like that, and then obviously 16th notes, oops. And then obviously 16th notes would be half of that. So, yeah. So, if you, you know, if you're lucky to have a doll like this, or, you know, if you have Free Loops or FL Studio, something like that, um, and it has like the sequence pattern or the, or the sequence grid, you can kind of mess around with the different patterns and see what you get. So, if we play this, if I put this one just back a little bit, let's, let's see how it shifts the feel. And so now we have a different groove just by switching the placement of this, right? And so that's, that's kind of what I want you to understand is that like 
by switching up just one little thing, not even adding or subtracting uh, sounds, but moving the pattern can switch the feel and groove of the song. And so the, let's put in some hi-hats. Um, like right off the bat, does this beat feel fast or slow? It's open to interpretation. But if we add 16 hi-hats on all of them, let's see how this switches up the feel of the song. Again, the BPM never changed, it's 93. But now tell me if this beat sounds fast or slow. For me, it feels a little bit faster. Okay, let's subtract some. And so see, by subtracting out half of those uh, hi-hats, it slows down the feel. And so this feels a lot slower, right? So if I was gonna continue on making a beat like this, let's see, let's see what else we would go. We had a symbol. shots. And why don't we duplicate this again, take out this cowbell. And we can layer the snare with a clap. That's the beautiful thing about making music. Let me turn this down so you can hear me. And that's the beautiful thing about making music is that, you know, we add some things. If it doesn't sound good, delete it, right? So like, let's see. You know what I'm saying? And oh, that doesn't sound good. Well, let me just delete all of these, you know? I don't know, I kind of like those congos though, but yeah. Turn it back up. So when we think about, you know, how did, like we think about the evolution of hip hop and how did hip hop become a thing, remember that it came from soul music. It came from R&B music, right? And so typically with R&B music or soul music, funk music, there is always, there's typically a section of the song where the vocals go out, where, you know, if they had a horn, a saxophone or a trumpet, that went out. And so the, so they had sections of the song where there were there was only the drums and the drum pattern you know maybe the the drummer was doing a solo right and so dj cool herc was the the founder of hip-hop and what he did was he took these these vinyls um you know some you know going back right he took these vinyls right and in the the sections of these songs where it was just just the breakbeat that's what he would play. And that's what birthed hip hop. So hip hop was really founded on drums, right? And so you could see here with just this drum pattern, um, someone could easily rap on top of this, right? So, so yeah, I, I really hope that this was, uh, you know, insightful or beneficial um, or at least entertaining in the slightest bit, right? Um, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll plan on doing some more videos like this um, just to keep you all engaged and uh, and we can go over some different techniques, right? Because there's different techniques that I can do in here to make this uh, drum pattern work a little bit better. Like, for instance, I could take 
uh, you know, these maracas, each and every single one of them, or the, uh, you know, and turn down the velocity. And so that kind of gives it a more human-like feel because everything on here is on the grid. It's kind of robotic in a way. Um, you know, I could go over here and add some groove to it. So there's, there's lots of different things that I can do to, you know, help beef up this drum, drum pattern. But again, I hope that you found this uh, beneficial um, or entertaining at the, uh, at the bare minimum. But uh, yeah, peace, love, and courage to you and sending all of y'all mad love.